yes, how are you doing? So I hope you've had a great week. Sorry, a bit late uploading this week. Uh, I've got a lot on, which I'll go to, into in a moment. Uh, never thought I'd hear myself say this, but it's peeing up with rain outside and I'm really, really pleased. So the rain kind of put a stop to things today. I was planning to do a little bit of work on Vinny, which is outside at the moment. And the problem is with it being outside, yeah, it's got a cover on so I can swap the cars over with PR to get it in the garage. But uh, if it's already rained on the car, it's just such a faff taking the cover off. Don't want to put the cover on a wet car. So uh, that's still stuck outside, waiting to be worked on at the moment. A uh, little bit of a problem with it, nothing serious. Uh, just know it's the last couple of times I've started up and run it. The engine management light has come on inside the car. Um, obviously, as you might know, Vinny doesn't run a mini engine. It runs a Vauxhall 8-valve uh, multi-point fuel injection engine out of a Nova GSI. Um, so it has its own uh, ECU, uh, ECU controlled injection and ignition, uh, and it has its own onboard diagnostics as well. So uh, if you've got an old Vauxhall um, diagnostic tool, uh, tech machine, you can plug into it and read fault codes out of it. What's great about those um, early cars of ECUs is they have what they call blink codes on them, So, or it certainly does on the Vauxhall engine. Uh, you bridge out a wire on the diagnostic port uh, and then it will flash a sequence up on the uh, management light on the dashboard to tell you what the fault is with the car. Uh, so I have tried that with Vinny and it's got a problem with the throttle position sensor. Um, so that doesn't affect too much the way it drives because it builds in some redundancy. So when the throttle position sensor is not working properly, it will ignore that and it will just rely on the map sensor to work out the fuel in. What, what it does do is it makes the throttle a little bit less responsive. So I've had this problem before, so I'll probably do a bit of a video on that and explain uh, um, the sort of problems I've had with that before, but it's on about its third uh, throttle position sensor now. So not quite sure what the issue is. Uh, I'm a bit tight though. The last time I've bought throttle position sensors and I've bought one now, I've always bought cheap ones. They're only about seven, eight quid, so they're really, really cheap. Uh, if you buy a genuine uh, sort of new old stock OE one, they're about 40, 50 quid. Uh, so maybe it's just a false economy buying cheap parts. Um, but I've got the throttle position sensor there. To be honest, there's not much to a throttle position sensor. It's just a variable resistor at the end of the day. So can't quite understand why it's going wrong. Um, I don't know, maybe the throttle butterfly is just worn or something like that because it's not uh, completely packing up and not working. Uh, it just gives a throttle position sensor voltage too low signal. Um, when I connect up, it should start at about half a volt at idle. Uh, and the one that's on the car only starts at about 0.3. Um, so it might be that the spindle's a little bit worn or something like that. But uh, I don't know, need to get to the bottom of that. So I'll do that in a future update. Um, some big, big news as well. So. Last week's update, I uh, sat on a sofa in there uh, talking about upgrading the garage lights. So hopefully they look great now. Some LED lights so they're not flickering anymore. Uh, I mentioned I was going to put my house on the market looking for something bigger. Certainly a bigger garage. That's ticking the box for me. And the kids want bigger bedrooms. The wife obviously wants, you know, a bit nicer, newer house, that sort of thing. Uh, so we put our house on the market. Uh literally friday last week first viewings booked in for saturday and we had uh, five viewings book, booked throughout the day we went out for the day obviously left the estate agent to get on with that come back at the end of the day and we had two offers at full asking price so uh, all of a sudden we were like a rabbit in the headlights oh my god <laughs> kind of when you put your house up for sale you expect these things to take weeks if not months uh, not to sell within sort of two hours of it going on the market so uh so we accepted the guy's offer, got really, really nervous about it because we haven't found anything up until then which we really, really liked. So we've got a budget, everyone's got a budget. What we were looking for was a three bedroom house, three good sized bedrooms and, and a double garage. Uh, now those houses just don't really exist, not unless someone's built them to that specification in the past. So I've been looking for a bit of a compromise actually, double length garage. Or there were some garages which were sort of one and a half width and a little bit longer and I was looking at them seeing if I could maybe extend, maybe do something with the garage, but everything was a compromise. 
uh, until the estate agent phoned us. Um, I can't remember when it was now. I think it was Saturday evening. That was it. And we booked a view for Monday. And he said, I've just got this uh, property come on. Uh, it's new build. Um, I, I think you'd be really interested in it. So uh, we went down Monday and um, it was just the perfect house. It was everything I, I could want in a house. It's got a, a double width garage uh, and they're big. Uh, it's big double width as well, so it's 5.6 meters by 5.6 meters. So that's really, really good fit. Two minis comfortably in there with some working space as well, or you could probably get three in there. But I think my longer term plan is two minis. Uh, it's um, it's not flat roof. It's an apex roof as well. So hopefully I can either get uh, either a scissor lift or maybe a two post lift in there as well. Uh, so yeah, I I'm so excited about that we put in an offer uh offer got accepted so within a week we had put our house on the market sold our house and put in an offer had that accepted on the new house so absolutely amazing how quickly these things happen and uh just got sort of that feeling that uh, sometimes things just fall into the place for the right reason so long way to go yet we'll see what happens so uh, I'm sure you don't tune in for updates about my house, <laughs> uh, so I do apologise. Uh, this week's update, um, I've, I've just got a bit of a time lapse. Angie started, the Angie, my wife, has started the paper cut for Steve Truin, who won the 850 subscriber giveaway. So I won't show you what the picture is going to be yet, but I'll give her the odd update as we go through. And you can see the process of her making a paper cut and what it looks like in the end, because they, they're really, really good. What you will see is how detailed and intricate it is. It's really, really fiddly work. Uh, she does it all with a, a really sharp knife, actually, with no protection on her hands. Tell you what, I'd have chopped about five fingers off by now, but she manages to do it without cutting herself. Uh, and also, just as a bit of a bonus, uh, when I went to view the house, made sure I took my GoPro with me, sort of held it, and uh, had a look round. So, as a sneaky peek at the new garage. But, like I say, it's a long time to go yet, so things can go wrong, solicitors, that sort of thing. But we'll see what happens. Got a good feeling about it. It ticks all the boxes, uh, and it just all seemed to happen at the right time. So, fingers crossed. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like I say, tune in till the end if you want to see the garage. I'm sure you will. Uh, and hopefully catch up with you next week. Hopefully I can get some more bits done on the cars. Been really, really distracted over the last week, obviously, with what's going on. Uh, and like today, for instance, weather's naff outside, so I've been up in the loft packing stuff up. So really, really boring stuff. Sure you don't want to see that. But uh, thanks, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Lots of new subscribers again recently. So thanks, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I uh, hope you enjoy my content and we'll try and get some more stuff uploaded soon. So, catch you next week. Cheers.